What's good? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth, and y'all already know what this is, a recap of last night's versus battle between two Bay Area legends, E-40 and Too Short. Let's get to it. So ordinarily, when I do these versus recaps, I go through each round and give y'all my commentary on who I had winning and why, but this time around, things felt a little different. Given the nature of this battle, I found it unnecessary to keep a scorecard. In fact, I felt like a real asshole when I tried to. This versus battle was unlike any of the recent ones in that it was more of a celebration of two icons in hip hop history. So it lacked that extreme competitiveness found in the Jeezy and Gucci battle. And in my opinion, this was just as much a celebration of the Bay Area as it was a versus battle between two Bay Area artists. Now, as someone who is not from the Yay area, I don't possess nearly as much knowledge on E-40 and Too Short as, you know, someone who lives there. But as a hip hop head who respects all the regions in rap, I was excited to see these two legends get their flowers. I mean, it was about time that Versus showed the West Coast some love. And look, there are people out there who may have been too young to remember E-40 and Too Short's music. Maybe they are also from a region where their music doesn't get much play. And maybe they've only heard the Little John era to to present day songs, and that's fine. But if you consider yourself a hip hop head, if you are really bout it, bout it for the culture, then I think you should have been proud of last night's event too. If not, you know, let's say you were someone who was hating, then I suggest you take a moment to do some reflection, research, and really assess your involvement in hip hop, period. It's that simple. You know, you don't have to love every one of their songs in order to understand that they are legends in this game. When talking about E-40, he is like the godfather of slang in hip hop. A lot of slang words used in both the East and the West Coast come from E-40 and the Bay. I'm talking words and phrases still used today like slap, Feel me, Fushizi, Fetty, Skrilla, Captain Savaho, you know, the list goes on. Now, Too Short is the original Mac in hip hop. He was really the first to put this pimping shit on wax. You have heard artists like Pimp C and Snoop Dogg uh, give Too Short his props for inspiring them to make that kind of content. But Short Dog and 40 pretty much laid down the groundwork, the foundation for not only the Bay Area, but for West Coast hip hop in general. So whether it was their unique slang, their entrepreneurial moves, you know, both had their own record labels by 1990 or their Mackish persona. These guys did it all before your favorite rappers. 30 plus years later, they're still going strong. So you can ask yourself, which one of your favorite rappers consistently made music from the 1980s all the way up until now without stopping? I'm not talking sporadically dropping songs and projects. I mean, all the way from the 80s up until 2020. But now I wanted to highlight some things that I dug about this versus battle. One was I liked how they gave viewers a brief history of the Bay Area in general. They gave a shout out to all the hoods in the Bay, which I thought was dope because let's face it, when most people think of California neighborhoods in California, they think of the ones in LA. They're not hip to the spots in the Bay like Vallejo, Sacktown, San Francisco, Oakland, AKA the town, Fillmore, Pittsburgh, Richmond, etc. So I feel it was necessary to shout out those hoods. I liked when they called out some rappers for hating on the Bay. They talked about certain artists jacking their whole style, uh, failing to give them props, and then having the audacity to talk shit about them. There was also a lot of game being chopped up. And when we talk about this concept of game and macking, it comes straight from the Bay. That's where it really originates. Think about how many times you have heard rappers mention Goldie from the Mac, or you've heard rappers talk about the player's ball. Well, the movie The Mac was based on the true story of real life pimps 
the Ward brothers in Oakland, California in the late 60s and early 70s. So this idea of game and macking is deeply entrenched in the Bay Area culture. And game doesn't just apply to pimping either. It's more of an educational thing when you have an OG who's giving you knowledge or giving you game to absorb. And the last thing that stood out to me was how entertaining both Too Short and E-40 were last night, especially E-40. He was visibly faded early early in the battle and I feel that made his vocabulary even more amusing than it already is. These kings were having fun, drinking, even getting their dance on. I saw a lot of folks comparing Jadakiss drunk to E-40 drunk. Thought that was kind of funny. Look, these guys are rap legends with a lot of charisma. They know how to move the crowd and keep the audience engaged. And with all the talking that they did in between songs, because they did a lot of talking, breaking everything down, I never found my myself bored not once and one more thing I know I didn't keep score but I did want to share with y'all some of the songs that I enjoyed from each from E40 it was the Bumble Captain Save a Ho Sideways Sprinkle Me I Got Five on It Remix Dusted and Disgusted Hope I Don't Go Back One Love Choices and Players Ball for Too Short it was Freaky Tales Life's Too Short Getting It Don't Fight the Feeling I'm a Player The World is Filled The Ghetto Buy You Some and Cuss Word basically I love their 80s and 90s hits the most now not to take anything away from their little john and hyphy tracks but i really prefer their old school smooth classics sonically you know that was the sound that i gravitated towards the most however you cannot deny the impact of the club bangers that both artists have under their belt tracks like blow the whistle and tell me when to go are undeniable club anthems but yeah this was one of the most informative and entertaining versus battles by far. I hope y'all were able to soak up some of that game like a beach towel and I hope that none of the slang went over your head like a shower nozzle. Let me know your thoughts on this battle in the comment section below. Did you keep a scorecard? If so, who did you have winning? It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out. As always, it's peace and blessings. Make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe. E40, too short, versus battle. Yay, area one.